just wasn't good enough. And with nine super seniors, the leadership and understanding of schemes is the best he has seen. The goal of seven win seasons are gone. They want 10 wins in an ACC championship. Going to see him right on the ball. Ball snapped quickly, living in third and, third and short. Keep it on the ground. A steady dose of Beal Smith straight ahead. Gets a good push from that offensive line. And picks up five more in a first down. Morris to third down and medium. Crowd ignites on third and five. Passes caught. Perfect throw right to A.T. Perry. Johnson. What I mean, blanketed. Perfect coverage in the ball placement. 68% for Sam Hartman on the season, and that's why. Throws like that last one. Threads the needle on that one, and then is on target again. Complete at the 40, that's Jaquari Roberson. And then Jaquari Ro Roberson on the other side. Complement one another extremely well. Second in the yard. Again, they go up tempo. You won't see a ton of huddling for Wake Forest. Beal Smith straight ahead. He'll pick up a first down yard. Within the pace to get a personnel grouping on the field and keep them there. Hartman all kinds of time looking deep wide open target caught at the goal line and a touchdown for Taylor Morin 39 yards and a score an impressive opening drive for the Demon Deacons a smaller guy in that that trio but they run coverage off there's two deep routes and then all of a sudden he's leaking out across the field about a guy who wants to participate in UFC one yeah. day, so he's not going to be afraid of a hit by a middle linebacker. The lefty triggers one out of the flat complete, and banging his way into the 40-yard line is Mike Hollins. Ronnie Walker, the lone back on third and short. Armstrong with time. Coxon fires complete. Threads the needle right to Don Tavian Wicks for a first down. Wicks had a 40-yard touchdown reception and a go route last week against FSU. First down in Wake Forest territory. Breaking tackles, penalty flags on the play. Yeah, those, are, those are holding flags flying in. It certainly looked like it as Hollins picked up five. This is the eighth play of the drive after a Wake Forest nine-play touchdown drive of their own. Rodriguez in the game. The utility man will give it off to Armstrong, and Armstrong is lassoed down for a big-time loss. That is the outside linebacker, Luke Masterson. In 2019, the linebacker this year and split some time at Rover. So far, their offensive numbers have been video game-like. Three-man rush on third down and 19. Armstrong taps, fires, and again right on target. My goodness. You can see him go through the progressions. See if he gets a foot down and bounds. Looks to be good. You can even see a little green in between. 20 yards of first down. Andre, you and I have seen this kid on television like yeah. some people have. The way they're, everything's set up, almost a 4-1 front. You can run quarterback draw here. Armstrong. Pressure up the middle, and that time a little too much hot sauce, but a penalty flag on the play. Wicks was the intended target. Trying to respond. First down and goal. Armstrong going to keep it, and he'll be wrapped up and bottled up right near the line of scrimmage, maybe even a loss. Ja'Cory Johns. Woods has seven inches on Kalen Carson. Instead, he looks the opposite way, and it's incomplete. That was intended for Woods in the flat. And the drive stalls on third and goal. We'll see if Virginia has any notion of going for it. Play number 15 of the drive. Armstrong looks right now over the middle. Into double coverage and almost picked off. At Scott Stadium in Charlottesville. Don't be surprised if they don't throw it here. Hartman finds that mesh point nice. and gives it off to Beal Smith. Breaking tackles. First down yardage for Christian Beal Smith, the junior out of Winston-Salem. A pickup of 13. On third and two. Hartman, clean pocket. High throw, but reeled in by the six foot one Jaquari Roberson. You look at the talent. You feel like they're better than that. They just haven't shown it as of yet. I'll tell you who has shown it. Sam Hartman again on target. That is A.T. Perry, a 6'5 sophomore. And it's Carter, Jameer Carter and Brown on the hit. Wide open over the middle. White Hart, the tight end, all the way down to the 26-yard line. White Hart, his second catch, as you mentioned, 
Chapman, the other tight end. They do the dirty work. They protect. Another impressive drive. That is play number nine. That one goes nowhere for Beal Smith. No gain on the play. This is what can happen when a group of guys decide to stay together and, and, and reach, you know, try to reach a goal. Hartman out of the pocket. Checks off a couple of reads, then throws, but it's incomplete. Left, right, and through. 17 consecutive field goals. That's number one in the country. And Nick Skiba continues his record pace. Where you can do all three, you know, execute all three phases of the position. Armstrong tosses in the flat. There's Billy Kemp. Billy Kemp, who's been electric already this season, will tiptoe out of bounds after first down yardage and a gain of 13. Two run the football later on. How about Kemp again? Little end around. Kemp cut, turns it upfield, barging into Wake Forest territory and another first down. You got a guy that really knows how to tote the mail. Three wide on first down. Clean pocket for Armstrong. Missiles one complete at the 29-yard line. Big time play and another first down. Wicks, who is just a magician at running routes, bringing it back down the stem and away from coverage. I was shocked when he said that. <laughs> I know Andre knows where his Heisman is. I know that. You're right. <laughs> Second down, a little throw underneath to Billy Kemp. But, you know, Spoken like a true former offensive lineman, Robert and I told us everything starts with the protection. I believe they got a couple of pros on that offensive line. So it's going to be Billy Kemp again, and that one is strung out by Wake Forest. To get outside to one, the one on one up top. Collins trying to pave the way for Armstrong, and a good lift there by Nick Anderson. Sophomore out of Great Falls, Virginia, hammers it home. 10-3 our score, 12.07 to go. First half from Charlottesville. They execute it at a very high level. Where do they ever? I think a lot of people would be surprised by some of their numbers. They'd be surprised by Beale Smith breaking free. A foot race down the near side and dragged down from behind at the 10-yard line. It's going to occupy the linebackers. They're going to bite up. They can't find the ball carrier because it's, it's developing so slowly. It's beautiful to watch and see it develop. Virginia got gashed on the ground last week against North Carolina and Wake Forest trying to do it again. There's Nick Jackson on the stop. That'll be a loss on the play. Just about every year. Wake three of four on third down. Hartman flushed out. Defenders breathing down his neck. Hartman turns it upfield. Holding defense oh boy. number one. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. Set up a third down play as opposed to a first down. So third and one. Ellis in the deep back. They feed him between the tackles, lunging ahead. I don't know that he got there. He's going to be just short of the quarterback, so he doesn't now nah, like it. Hartman takes it himself. Good push, and it appears from here they got it out to the one-yard line. Yeah, it drives me crazy. Defensive linemen aren't waiting. Hartman, a fearless runner, hands it off here. Plunging into the end zone, a touchdown for Justice Ellis in the freshman. They didn't wait. They gave it to him coming right downhill. You heard it first, you heard folks. It right here on a Friday night first. Andre Ware with his upset special of the week. Armstrong. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. A sack for Wake Forest. That's Ja'Cory Johns. And then now making, him, making Armstrong a little uncomfortable. That ended a streak of seven consecutive completions. Armstrong missiles that one complete, and that'll move the chains. See if we can get an update on him as time progresses. Meanwhile, it's Mike Hollins battering his way for four tough yards in the first down. 29 times in the first three weeks has yet to touch it tonight. You would expect that number to change. Not here, it's not. Armstrong devoured behind the line for another sack. Loss of seven. Just the four men up front. They just bring four, and they're able to get home. Taylor, Red, Greer, Davis. Third down at 26. Again, just a three-man rush. They go underneath and a drop. Mike Hollins trying to make something out of very little. 
kids. It's 50 to cracks. Developmental and, board. He, he yeah. develops talent as well as anyone in the country. First punt of the game. Look out, look out. Is a fair catch at the 25. Clark, what do you have? Oh, nice job in that, that area. Hartman, Cox and Fires complete. At the 30, past the 35, and down to the 39-yard line is Taylor Marin. A pickup on the play of 15. Michigan transfers in the starting 22 for the Demon Deacons. Running back by committee. They keep it on the ground. Churning those big legs is Turner. He goes 5'11", 205. Wake 4 of 6 on third down. There's the mesh. There's the carry. Close. And real close for Turner. His decision time. It's going to be short. From the 21 yard line on first down. Again up the middle and again a big game. Almost lulls you to sleep. And it just goes to show you the amazing coaching job that Dave Clawson has done at Wake Forest. Trips to the bottom of your screen and that's where they go. And weaving his way inside the 10 yard line. That's Keyshawn Williams, freshman out of Philadelphia. Hartman out of the shotgun. Cavaliers rushing three. Hartman gets out of trouble, delivers, incomplete. Great Good coverage. coverage. Jack, yep, excellent. Second all time in the history of college football. Snap and hold are good. Kick, perfect. What else is new? Skiba gets it done. Boy, they have been solid on that side of the ball. 91 seconds. We'll see if Armstrong can provide some magic. Not that time. Heavy pursuit and brought down by Masterson. Bathroyd. Yeah, the captain gets home. I mean, he's a, he's the leader on this team, a guy that makes the calls and a nice pass rush move, a little up and under. Again, no timeouts for Virginia. On third and short, jump catch complete near the 45. That's Don Tavian Wicks, and that should be a first down. They'll stop the clock momentarily. From the 45. Armstrong oh heavy pursuit, and he goes down again. Another sack. It's the safety. Travion Red, a runaway freight train. High blitzes. He lets the protection set itself and right into the front doorstep of Brennan Armstrong. Brennan Armstrong to play the game between his, ear, his ears. Might be the story of the first half. Again, Armstrong in trouble. Again goes down. Right near the line of scrimmage. To keep this pass rush a little bit, a little bit more honest. Third and one. Certainly a running down in distance, and they'll get a great gallop. And a first down by Mike Hollins. Armstrong and the Cavaliers will go empty backfield on first down. With time in the pocket, missiles one complete at midfield. This is the passing attack we've yeah. seen through the first three games for Virginia. One of the guys on the outside, well, Henry, Wicks, those guys are involved early. Shaken up in the first half, he's at the bottom of your screen. In plus territory on first down, again with time. Now flushed out, Armstrong, going to tuck and run. Again, plenty of athleticism out of this young man. And Armstrong gets inside the 20 and tiptoes out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Four in the pattern for Armstrong. Steps up in the pocket, rifles one complete, and a second-ever touchdown by Jelani Woods, the tight end, 17 yards and a score. And he waited out the 6'7", Jelani Woods. Delivered it on time. Excellent placement of the football. And just the size takes over. He's got guys just bouncing off him. In the secondary and pressure up front, they have not been able to get to Hartman. There's that delayed mesh point handoff into the belly of Christian Beal Smith. There it is. That's the play there you're talking about. Caught at the 45 by Roberson. Shifty inside the 30 and escorted out of bounds. Just hold it, hold it. Here comes the linebackers. You vacate an area, and all of a sudden, Roberson is off to the races. Got to be frustrating for a defense. On these type of situations tonight, third and a yard. Behind the left side of that line, stacked up. I don't think he got there. Bill Smith brought down to the bear hug by Antonio Clary. 
Beal Smith straight ahead, banging bodies and out to the first down. Great second effort. Going with a little Wildcat. And a little razzle dazzle into the hands of Hartman. Wide open end zone, touchdown! What a call! Blake Whitehart, the tight end for a 12 yard score. Looks like they took that one out of the Virginia playbook. Wake Forest tonight. Beal Smith to Hartman to the tight end, Whitehart. So already playing shorthanded in the backfield. On second down and eight. Five in the pattern for Armstrong. Coming back and making the catch at the 20. That is Malachi Fields. And they bring it off the edge. Armstrong feels the heat. Armstrong goes down again. The fifth sack for Wake Forest. Luke Masterson, the fifth year senior. When they have done a magnificent job of reading the, the offensive line, timing it up in terms of where. It's an offensive line that had four guys, four offensive linemen return from Virginia. Second and long. Perfect pass, perfect route, and a first down for Henry. He just didn't throw it very hard, but it was a pass. So Virginia still in business on second down, and that's one is perfectly placed and breaking tackles, streaking down the sideline. Jelani Woods, Andre, you called for him. He's delivering. You got a guy that can run at six seven with good hands. I mean, that's a heck of a catch. Thrown behind him, he reaches around, grabs it, and then gets right back in stride. Gotta find a way to get him in more involved. With an upset special, West Virginia over Oklahoma. Second and three, Armstrong, Cox and fires, and completes it inbounds at the 22. That is Mish on the reception. Good. As Jim Harbaugh finally had the team. Oh, they are running it well, aren't they? Yeah, they are so far. Bobbled on the snap. Armstrong rips it and somehow completes it for a score. How in the world? Did he get that one through to Don Tavian Wicks? The needle, isn't it? That is, that's some throw. Uh, this one might come back as well, though. It looks like Gavin Holmes was all over it. Mm, just not sure. Matt Austin, we're going to keep you busy here in this third quarter. What do you think? Right there, it looked like the ball hit the ground. Third and short. And Wake Forest has been so good in these situations tonight. Every time it just seems like they push the pile. Capped it off with a touchdown run. On first down, Hartman steps up in the pocket. Delivers a strike caught at the 41. Wiggling his way to the 33-yard line. The all-ACC wideout. What a nice protection. And you see Hartman drive and step up in the pocket to further protect himself they lock you in defensively to that last look and just take advantage of you that way ellison probes the right side and falls ahead for the first down but a penalty flag on the play hartman corner out and that one one of the rare throws that was not quite on target but a penalty flag right near the spot that he threw it i mentioned earlier wake of will quick snap it Another penalty flag, reversing field, and a great push. That's Turner. They love his physicality, but we'll see what this laundry is all about. Here comes the blitz. Hartman delivers. Caught! Touchdown, Perry! A.T. Perry! What a read by Sam Hartman. Rotate from his two-deep look to a single safety look. They rotate down. Excellent read by Hartman. He knows he's got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. That is how you deal the football. And you're going up against a good corner. I'm sounding like Eddie Murphy and coming to America, but Muhammad Ali was 72 when he lost that fight. <laughs> <laughs> Third and seven. Deep ball down the sideline. Contact. That's going to be a penalty on the Demon Deacons. Wicks had his man beat. Jasir Taylor with an extra push. Backed up inside their own 10. Jacob Finn on the punt. It's been a quiet day for punting tonight. 
Field of that midfield by Morin. And the sure handed Taylor Morin takes it out. In terms of scoring for Wake Forest, they've scored every possession. They only rush three. Hartman all day to throw, and you can't give him that much time. He will carve you up, and that's exactly what he does to Keyshawn Williams. And you give this young man this much time, he's just waiting routes out. Going to find Keyshawn Williams. Nice adjustment as well by the receivers to break things off. One of the rare times today, no positive yardage on the carry. Beal Smith stacked up. Now here we go, another third down, third and four. Hartman this time pressured and in and out of the hands of Williams. Got a flag another down. Another penalty flag. That's at about the 12-yard line. From 35 yards out, Skiba gets it to go again. And that makes it a three-possession game. Third down and ten for this Virginia offense. Five-man rush for the Demon Deacons. Armstrong running for his life. He's done a lot of that today. And now he gets to show off the footwork. Again, a great athlete, a former safety. Surprised he went out of bounds. I thought for sure he was going to cut it back to the middle of the field. Once he escaped trouble, I thought right there he was going back to the middle of the field. Keaton Thompson will take the snap. Pitch it to Armstrong. Back to Thompson. Thompson, the former quarterback at Mississippi State, weaving his way through traffic. And finally, wrestled down. He's going to take a host of defenders with him. Great effort. On third down and ten. Pressure. Armstrong dancing out of trouble. Now dancing to his right. And throws a jump ball caught by the 6'7 Woods again. That's, that's a big catch radius by the 6'7 <laughs> Woods. Now a third down and 18. Here comes the blitz. Armstrong, Cox and Fires, deep down the sideline. Again, a lot of contact, but no call. I don't know if you can call a much better game, like you said, on both sides for Wake Forest. Armstrong to his right, and that one wide of the mark. He can make the throws, so I, I, I have no reason to believe that he's not going to get a shot. Bat of the round, incomplete. Looking for their fifth consecutive win over Virginia, something that's never been done. They're trying to improve the 4 0 on the season. Another big hit. Without dialing up the pressure, they've been able to figure out just how to get there. That's just manhandling some an offensive lineman. Armstrong with time, looking deep downfield, has all day. And will throw underneath four down territory, obviously, for Virginia the rest of the way as Wicks reels in another. Seven minutes remaining in this one. Armstrong, lasers one complete, and that'll move the chains. Into the hands of Billy Kemp, who lost the football, stripped away, and Wake Forest has the recovery. Kemp trying to get some additional yards after the catch, and... A big rake in there by Smenda. What a play. What a play by Smenda. And off Hartman to Turner. Bottled up near the line of scrimmage. It wasn't the huge chunk plays rushing. It was five yards here, six yards there. Methodically moving down the field on several drives tonight. Clemson a game last week to yeah. give the Yellow Jackets a shot there. Did not call for the fair catch, and Murray paid for that decision. Throw in a turnover. And here they are sitting on just 17 points. Armstrong unloads deep down the field. Did he pick it off? Great coverage by Wake Forest, and another turnover. A ball down the field. He forced this one into coverage. And looked like Kobe Davis with an interception. The safety coming over the top. That's just playing center field. That's a gift. It's great concentration, isn't it? Yeah. Blake, Blake locked down to one second. And 
once more of Justin Ellison just holding on to the ball. And we have seen two good ones tonight. That one will bounce inside the five, and why not? Everything else has gone well for Wake Forest. This is, there's even more of a cushion there for Virginia Tech. Perfect pass. And caught by Malachi Fields for 13 of the first down. But you and I getting it, our first chance to see him yeah. in person. He's just as impressive as I hoped he would be in terms of arm talent. Uh, he has got some tremendous arm talent. And the one thing that he he's going to need is a running game to go along with that arm talent. Enough guys get banged up already in this game. Final 90 seconds of the contest as Armstrong settles in the pocket. And again, another perfect strike caught by Keaton Thompson, the former Mississippi State Bulldog. A solution to getting him the ball a little more often. Young man who tore his rotator cuff, former quarterback, just can't put the zip on the ball that he used to before the injury. As Darrington picks up another first down as the clock now waning seconds under a minute to go. They, they, they press the brakes a little bit in this one. On third down, that'll be a first down. Ronnie Walker. Over the last three seasons, it's Clemson, and then it's Wake. Armstrong completes it in the flat. And finally brought down is Mike Hollins. Wouldn't shock me. Nope, no play no. coverage. Armstrong with time. Everybody covered. Now a penalty flag. Armstrong is going to tuck it and run and fall down at the four. We'll That'll see what the it. flag is all about. That's going to be a hold. Big time hold. Yeah, certainly in the area of holding. How about the Demon Deacons? 4-0 on the season. Five consecutive wins against Virginia. Dave Clawson and company making some noise in the ACC.